powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jay Cohn. And I'm Janelle Slade. More Montana health organizations joining in on a major move to help educate, diagnose, and treat mental health issues across the state. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Montana will donate a quarter of a million dollars to help support Billings Clinic's new psychiatric residency program, the first and only one of its kind in Montana. Montana is a rough and tumble state, but you can't pull your bootstraps up and tough it out with mental illness. It doesn't work that way. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Montana has made fighting mental illness one of our top priorities for this company. The $250,000 donation will help fund the residency program designed to train and attract psychiatrists to Montana to address the growing mental health crisis. Residents attend the University of Washington for the first two years after medical school and then spend years three and four right here in Montana. It's all part of the effort to combat the staggering number of suicides in our state. Montana was one of three states in the country that have no uh, psychiatry residency program. The other two states are Wyoming and Alaska. These three states are also among the three, the top three, when it comes to suicide rates nationally. This will not be Billings Clinic alone. It's going to be a statewide effort with these residents rotating through our critical access hospitals, in our reservations, in our correctional facilities, and working with our veterans. Now, Dr. Julie Kelso says since the residency program was announced, the clinic has received more than 400 applications for the first three positions available starting next summer. We can tell you there is a new tool available for those who might be having suicidal thoughts. It's called a suicide safety plan. It's an actual document, a piece of paper you fill out with someone to reference the next time a suicidal thought takes over. And we're learning from public health experts here in Billings, this new tool is becoming a valuable way to go combat one of Montana's most tragic epidemics. The idea of doing a safety plan with somebody else is that you're, it's a team kind of function that you're committing, you're making this contract with yourself and this other person to try to help keep yourself safe. Now this is what goes into a suicide safety plan. The warning signs a suicidal person is feeling, their mood, situation, and behavior. It asks, what are the coping strategies? How can you take your mind off suicide? The plan also asks to provide a list of those who you can call to help distract you and also what agencies are available to call in a crisis. And lastly, what steps need to be taken to make your environment safe? Now, for many, the holidays can be a stressful time, not a happy time. Public health officials say a suicide safety plan is just another resource in our community to help. And we want to let you know there's also immediate help available through a suicide prevention hotline that's open 24-7. You can both call and now text to speak with someone for anyone who might be having suicidal thoughts. That number, 1-800-273-TALK, or you can text MT to 741-741. In other news tonight, a 31-year-old man is facing drug charges and criminal trespass after prosecutors say he broke into a Billings home while two sisters hid in a locked bedroom. It happened Friday on Stone Street on the city's south side. Police say the two sisters were wrapping presents in a lower-level room of the house where the, while their parents were away at church. Now, when the dog started barking, that's when they noticed a man in their kitchen. Benjamin Poole was found at the kitchen table wearing a hooded sweatshirt over his head. A quick altercation with a canine police dog <laughs> let police uh, take Poole into custody. Officers say the girls who were hiding in a locked bedroom while waiting for police to arrive were scared and crying. A suspect in a morning standoff and shootout in Deer Lodge is in the hospital tonight. Police shot and wounded the man after exchanging gunfire and causing panic in the neighborhood along Higgins Avenue in Deer Lodge. Other neighbors actually thought it was a police training exercise. Deer Lodge schools were put on lockdown until the situation ended. No further details have been released. In Gallatin County, a Missoula woman now facing charges after police found methamphetamine in her vehicle along with four children. Danielle Joe Tutu is charged with four counts of child endangerment and possession of dangerous drugs with intent to distribute. The court documents state four children were found in Tutu's truck in the parking lot of a casino Saturday morning around 1.30 a.m. The truck was turned off. The temperature was into the single digits. Once the officer located Tutu inside the casino and escorted her out to her vehicle, the officer found four baggies containing methamphetamine. 
A white supremacy group that recently made appearances in Billings and Missoula hit Bozeman with its message. Flyers have been found at the Montana Veterans Memorial and Montana State University campus. The university released a statement saying, quote, Montana State University strongly rejects the supremacist views espoused by Identity Europa, and we affirm our institutional values based on respect for the dignity of every human being. Bozeman police say they are not able to address this at this time because it's protected speech and the group has not done anything illegal. As long as it's done in a public space, it's, it's protected activity. Uh, if, if people are trespassing to, to do these things, then there, there can be issues with that that we can investigate. Um, or um, dependent upon, there can be crime uh, motivated by hate, and then, and then those are things that we can take action on. But merely um, uh, speech-related uh, items like this, uh, the Constitution protects that, and we are sworn to uphold the Constitution. So. Now, most recently, the group has left messages across Rutgers University in New Jersey. Some exciting news for your taste buds tonight. A casual dining restaurant coming to Billings has just made it big. That's according to TripAdvisor. The Missoula-based Five on Black was named number 18 on the 2018 Travel's Choice Awards for Best Fast Casual Restaurants <coughs> in the Country. Five on Black is scheduled to open in the Rimrock Mall here in Billings early next year. The restaurant also has locations in Missoula and Bozeman along with Denver and Boulder, Colorado. Also on that list, Blaze Pizza, which also opened out in the mall in early October. An update now on the Magic City's naval namesake. That's right, we're talking about the USS Billings, the uh, littoral combat ship. It recently re achieved a major milestone in its construction, completing what's called acceptance, acceptance trials on the waters of Lake Michigan. This was the USS Billings christening back in July of 2017 in Marinette, Wisconsin. Now these acceptance trials, the final milestone before the ship will be delivered to the U.S. Navy, which is slated for sometime next year. Now the trials include a full power run testing the ship's maneuverability and its combat systems. The USS Billings is the eighth Freedom variant LCS designed and built by Lockheed Martin. Veterans and patriotic Montanans are gathered at the state capitol rotunda today for Wreaths Across America to place the state capitol wreath. Today's event was held in conjunction with similar events across the nation to honor veterans for their service, remember those who are no longer here, and teach the public about the sacrifices every service member makes. Flags from all branches of the military are represented on this year's wreath, as well as the National League of Families, POW, MIA flag, and the Montana State U.S. and the U.S. flag. Jane Hammond with the Daughters of the American Revolution Montana Society say that the wreath not only honors those that served, but also how the spirit of service lives on through future generations. The wreath is a symbol of life that never ends. It is a circle and it is from one generation to the next that we must pass on the principles that made our country great. Coming up this uh, Saturday at 10 in the morning, Reese will be placed at the Montana State Veterans Facility at Fort Harrison. Well, Billings get ready to rock. That's because New York Metro Park announced Breaking Benjamin will headline a four-band rock show at Rimrock Auto Arena. A big show will also include performances by Asking Alexandria, Under Oath, and Diamante. It's scheduled for April 8th. Tickets go on sale this Friday at the Metro Park box office. You can also get them at metropark.com or the old-fashioned way, by phone. <laughs> you can find all that information on our website. Still to come on tonight's 530 News as we look ahead to Montana's 130th birthday next year. Tonight, look back on the grand celebration of the state centennial. And in sports, opening weekend of basketball season has come and gone. A sweep for West girls who have title dreams this season. And coming up in weather, even though it's going to be a little bit above normal temperature wise, we are expecting an unsettled week ahead. Could see several weather disturbances move through, bringing a chance for some more rain and snow. Details coming your way in a few more minutes. You're watching MTN News with Jay Cohn and Janelle Slade. Storm Tracker Weather with Bob McGuire and Sports with Scott Green. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader.